Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hopefully the lighting is okay. Better than it normally is. Let's see. Oh no. We want to go back to where we were. Let's just tap a few times on the screen. Is that better? That's pretty good. Kind of liked it bright. We'll find it. Huh. We're going to find that brightness. So, good morning, everybody. Probably has a lot to do with my shirt, but I'm sporting the UC Riverside for my boy today. So, washed my hair, my face, everything washed, and we're going to do some skincare right now. Um, going to start with some rose water. This hydrates, helps reduce dullness, and um, even uneven skin tone over time. Does have a little hint of roses to it, but it does dissipate very, very quickly. So if you're smell sensitive, it, it doesn't last that long. And I do think it is heaven on earth. It like outweighs the total, you know, the total um, fact that it does have a little scent to it. But it's a nice scent, so. And then we're going to do some instant lifting serum because Lord knows we need to lift, lift and tighten. And this is what this does. Instant lifting serum does just that. It lifts and tightens. So you want to put it under your eyes. It's going to help with puffiness, uh, dark circles. Um, it's going to tighten. Over time, the fine lines and wrinkles over usually about a two hour span of time, it continues to work. I like to put it here and on my forehead where I have my wrinkles and down the sides of my mouth. Okay, so all those areas, I mean, heck, you could put it on your whole face if you wanted to and just do a mini little facelift, which is pretty much what I just did. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? Let's be honest with each other. All right. And last but certainly not least is our um, hydrating day cream it has SPF 20 in it. Okay. Um, we have a a day cream that does not have any SPF if you're allergic to it. So there's an option there for everybody. Um, have no fear. So we're just gonna paint that on. I know that seems odd, but I've heard it preserves on product because it's not soaking into your hands, it's soaking into just your face. So I'm all about saving money. So hopefully everybody out there in Facebook land is doing well on this hump day, happy hump day. And I should say YouTube land, since how at some point I really want my videos on YouTube, so let's add them into the mix too, right? Why not? Let's all be happy. Share the joy with everybody, right? All right, so we have our moisturizer on. We're ready to make some BB brew. First, I would like to just exfoliate my lips. This is our Mood Struck Lip Exfoliator, okay? It has coconut oil and sugar. You just pop a little bit of that on and rub it with your fingers. And it just exfoliates and gets all that dead skin off. I'm a picker, a lip picker. Ugh. I'm gonna try a lip stain at the end of this whole uh, little get ready with me and hopefully it doesn't look funny because I pick my lip right here in the middle and uh, yeah <laughs> yeah that doesn't work so well when you're trying to wear a lip stain alright and you just wipe that off okay and there you have it so got all our skincare out of the way Let's make a BB brew. I've never made one before, so it's you and me together making a BB brew, okay? So, we're gonna take our BB cream enhancer, uh, a BB flawless, um, hello, wake up, um, 
And so this is a moisture, tinted moisturizer, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that to our little bowl, okay? That was probably far too much, far too much. But I'm learning, all right? I guess it's all a learning curve as to how much product you need on your face, all right? And then we're gonna take our mineral concealer, okay? And this is in the color Fresh. I think probably a lot of um, a lot of I've seen fabulous use, which is the next color up. But I have fresh, so we're making it with fresh. Okay, all right. So we're going to take a little bit of that, and I don't want a lot in here. I just want a little, and I'm not really sure how to go about that. Not really sure, seeing how it's so full. But we're just gonna plop a little bit in there, and hope that that's enough. I've never made this before, so we're experimenting together. Okay. So, I have our BB cream, and I don't know if you can see this, so I have our BB cream and a little bit of that um, mineral concealer, and then we're just going to swirl it all together in the bottom of this lovely little dish. Now, what this does is it's just a, it bumps up the coverage value and the concealment value of your BB cream, okay, because it is just a very light coverage. It's really a, just a tinted moisturizer, so um, it's really good for hydration and giving you that little burst of color just to pop out the door and go do, you know, if you're not a big makeup wearer, perfect, BB cream's perfect for you if you have dry skin, um, mature skin, BB cream is really great, um, and then you just bump up the coverage with a little bit of uh, concealer once again and also um, like a mineral pressed powder. So there you have a little bit of info. So we're just gonna paint this on because I'm really loving the whole painting method apparently. Right? That's for apparent sure. So I hope everybody out there is doing good today. I have a lot to do. I'm, I'm really struggling to get going, which that's not abnormal for me. I, I do struggle with um, giddy up and go, I guess. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, I call it my giddy up and go. And, and I have medicine that helps me because I struggle with, with chronic pain and chronic fatigue and so like I just like feel like all I want to do is just sleep all the time and well we know that's just no way to live life you know so I have my giddy up and goes but I don't like to use them all the time you know like I just don't I save them for just really emergent situations when I gotta be you know giddy up and goed <laughs> So, anywho, we're here, we're going, we're giddying up and, all right, so we're getting all this on here, I know I'm not the fastest painter in the world, <laughs> I'm just full of it today, aren't I, it must be just because it's Wednesday, Wednesday, all right, so I made a little too, too much, but that's okay, we'll know for next time. Now, BB cream, because it does have a moisturizer in it, does leave a really nice dewy uh, look, okay? If that is not something that you're into, like I'm not really into the dewy look most of the time, maybe in the summer, I will um, try the dewy look. But right now, I'm more into a matte finish, and that's why I will also, at some point in this regimen I will add my mineral powder okay I will add my mineral pressed um, foundation powder just because I don't really like that dewy look but that that was great and it did it did bump up the coverage it did do exactly what um, the BB brew has been relayed to me to do. Um, I've only seen it made, you know, just like you guys are seeing me make it. So that really does work. And I like it. I like it a lot. 
All right, let's do some uh, primer. Now your BB cream does have a little built-in primer with it. So that's why I did it first. And then we're gonna pop on some of our Glorious Touch Primer. Primer is super, super important. It um, helps blur out fine lines and wrinkles, okay? It helps protect your pores from all that makeup. And it also, also, there's more. Really helps the staying power of your makeup, okay? And who doesn't want this to last? Once we put it on, we want it to last. We want it to last until we want to take it off at night. So again, I'm just going to pop this on with my brush. This is awesome, awesome stuff. It is like velvet when it goes on, okay? And um, you don't need very much, just a little dabble do you of it. So that tube will last for a very, very long time. Probably more than six to eight months, I would say, if you're using it properly. So, um, so let me introduce myself because I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. I got a little sidetracked per usual. Um, all right. So my name is Carissa Doss and I am a white status presenter with Unique Cosmetics. I did pin, um, put my website above. Most of the products you'll see me use today are unique products and you can find them at my little shop at the link above, beautywithcarissa.com. So if you see anything you like, you can go on by there and you can find it all there under um, the link, the shopping link. Or there's, a, I think there's an open event right now that you can also um, shop under. So, and don't forget this month's kudos. Um, it's going the whole month of February, a liquid lipstick, your choice, a um, cream, splurge cream shadow, your choice, and it comes with a free lip brush, which is a $25 value. So, anyway, there you have that. So if you see anything you like, feel free to pop on over there and shop. And if you have any questions, comments, please put them below or feel free to instant message me on Facebook. I will help you get color matched. I'll help you with any questions you have about product and we'll get you all squared away. All right? So, without further ado, let's do some concealer. I did not take that out. So here's our kin, our kin. Here's our skin, skin perfecting concealer. This stuff is amazing bomb, okay? So, I use it for highlighting mainly, although I have a lot of things to conceal. I actually use mainly for highlighting purposes. So I go um, quite a bit lighter than my foundation. My foundation color is Taffeta and I'm using Scarlet Concealer, which is three shades lighter. So if you're gonna use it for actually concealing, I would stick to actually your foundation color or maybe one shade lighter. If you're using it for highlighting, you can go up to two shades lighter. But I'm just a daredevil. I like to push the envelope and we're doing three shades lighter here. So I'm just popping a tiny bit on the back of my hand, okay, very little bit. This is so creamy and spreadable, so you don't need a lot, okay? And if you start using too much, you're not gonna get good results. You're just not gonna see what you want, okay? So you just don't need a lot of these products. They're very rich, rich, creamy, mineral-based products. So we're just gonna do a cute little triangle under the eye. And what we do to one, we should do to the other. So we're gonna do a cute little triangle under this eye. And I'm just using the uh, a concealer brush to put this on, okay? I wanna get as close to the, as close as I can to up under my eyeball. I wanna go down our nose, because I want that to be bright. I want the middle of my forehead to be bright. And I want my chin. Okay, I know, you're thinking, what? What the what? Okay, so I just want like this oval part of my, my face to be really like brightened, okay? I gotta look awake. I told you guys I'm tired all the time, okay? Okay? So we got to wake it up, all right? All right, and once again, I have a tiny bit left, see? Just a little bit left. So, it's just all trial and error. You really don't need a lot of product at all. 
and I didn't get prepared with my blending bud, so I'm going to pull one out real quick. So I'm just going to use a little blending bud to um, to even this out with a little spritz of rose water. You always want your bro your um, your blending buds to be damp, okay, because it helps to not absorb the product. You don't want to absorb it into the to the blending bud. You just want to push it into your skin. So little dabbing motions, and we're just going to push that into our skin. And you just want it to stay right where you, you put it, okay? So that's the dabbing motion. We don't want to rub it all around, okay? And so just really push that in. You can put it up onto the top of your eyelid, okay? And see how bright that made that area, okay? So, so I've got to go to the postal service today and fax some stuff. Super excited about that. My boy, my my oldest one, got into a car accident. Not his fault. And um, and so the insurance wanted some information. The other insurance company wanted some information. So I gotta get that to them because they're threatening to close our case if we don't do it. We've only been trying to get a hold of these people for months. And now all of a sudden they're gonna close our case, but whatever. Whatever, we'll do it. We're not doing anything, we'll get it done. All right, so there we have that. So you see how it just really, the difference here, how it just really brightened these areas and it's just helped wake me up. I feel, I feel more awake now. Is that, oh my gosh, it's crazy, right? But I do. I love putting on makeup, you know. If, if I do nothing else during the day, you know, this makes me feel so much better. So, you know, try it. If you're a little bit down, if you, like me, suffer from depression, pull out your makeup and put on a face and see if maybe that helps you feel better. It does me, I tell you, I can only speak for myself, but I push myself to do this and when I'm done, I'm really super glad that I did it. It just is I don't know it just does something to me does something to me all right we're gonna put a little bit of um, finely milled setting powder over those areas uh, sure we are we are uh, if I can find the brush I want you guys know that's the story of my life like where's the brush where's the brush Carissa so I'm just gonna tap some f setting powder over those areas this is just going to help it not to settle in and crease because I don't really want to put uh, my foundation in those areas because I want to keep them light, okay? And putting my foundation over those areas would create them to be the color of my foundation, so we're going to try to not do that. So we're going to try to not do that. I got a hold of the tweezers and I took them to my eyebrows and that's a bad combination with this girl, okay? There is a reason that I go and have my eyebrows done and it's because I'm a compulsive person with certain things and tweezers and eyebrows are one of them. So my daughter said I screwed up my eyebrows. I'm like, oops, <laughs> whoopsie. Oh well, can't change it now. So I'm on tweezer restriction. <laughs> She's like, just come to me, Mom, if you need help. <laughs> I need help. I do. All right. So now in the areas that I didn't put that concealer, I'm going to tap in some of my Taffeta um, Mineral Pressed Powder. Okay. So I'm just going to tap that. Try to stay away from the areas that I just concealed if I possibly can with this ginormous brush <laughs> uh, I love it though I love this brush I got a few things from Tarte over the Christmas Christmas um, holiday they were having a huge special so I thought oh, I'll try it I don't really like a lot of their products but this brush is the bomb and it came with it so I was like okay all right, so now that powder just took away the dewiness that I had left and made it this nice matte finish. So just if you don't like dewy, 
and BB cream is your way to go. Just so you know, it's, it is doable. There's always a combination that we can make work for you, okay? We're gonna move on to our beachfront bronzer. This is in the shade Hermosa. All of our bronzers come with a shimmer side and a matte finish side, okay? And, um, um, but a little, we have three of them, okay? This is the middle color. So if you've never used bronzer before, I do suggest probably starting with the lightest shade, which is Sunset, and working up from there. That will just give you a nice color um, to start with, and you can, you can kind of learn from there, okay? So with bronzer, we want to put it in about three different places. And the best and easiest way, if you're a new bronzer user, that I can show you that is the three and E technique. So you want to do a three, so forehead down to the hollow of your cheek, right below your cheekbone, and on your jawline, and then an E, exactly on the same side, okay? So that's just one way that it's easy for me to tell you like how to use bronzer. You're gonna see my bat wings, can't help it. Lost a lot of weight, so this girl can fly. Not really, I cannot really fly. I hope kids didn't hear me just say that. Um, no, can't really. But I tease my daughter. I will fly in to kiss her goodnight at night with my bat wings. So if you don't like them, don't look at them. They're not for everybody. But they're what God left me with after my, bat, my gastric bypass. So that's what we got. Now, if you get your bronzer a little too dark, just keep... Blending and blending and blending and it will blend out, okay? Everything's blendable, nothing's permanent. Have no fear. The blending will take it away. Okay, so see how that just really warmed up my forehead right here in the hollow of my cheek, right below my cheekbone. And by putting it down on your jawline, you can chisel out that jawline, creating a shadow effect that helps with double chins. And I got one. Plus, it, it really nicely chisels out, creating that shadow. So, I kind of just want to go darker with this and really be dramatic today, but I don't know if it will match with my UC Riverside shirt. Like, who cares, right? It's me. I'm the one who has to walk around looking like it, wearing it. Yeah, yeah. Now for some blood. Oh, it helps if you open the product from the right direction. Ouch, that hurt. Now we're going in with our Mineral Pressed Blush. This is in the shade Seductive, very beautiful mauve. This is a color I would say is just about for everybody. This and Sweet are just colors that are for all skin types. Sweet is a little bit lighter, it's the lightest one we have. And um, they're all gorgeous. Some of them are a little more uh, darker than others, but you just need like a tap, like literally a tap, and look at the color payoff. Mineral-based products, you don't need a lot, okay? Just a tap and just build on everything till you get where you're going, where you wanna go, okay? Alrighty. We're gonna move to some eyebrows. Well, the eyebrows I have left. My hair is quickly drying into a do that is not very becoming. I'm gonna have to do a lot of work to get this puppy working. All right, so let's put some eyebrows on. And I am going to use my tried and true splurge cream shadow in the color Faithful. I've been really loving, loving this. And until the brow palette comes out, which it's been pushed back just a little bit, I was saying the 15th I could get it, now it's gonna be more like the 20th, and then it will still be released to um, the public on the 1st of March, okay? Along with a multitude of other wonderful products that I cannot hardly wait to get my hands on. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows real quick, if that's possible. If it's possible let me say I'm gonna try to make it quick we're gonna try so just filling these in this is a cream to powder 
shadow. So it's going to go in like a balm, like, a, uh, like an eyebrow balm. And then it's just going to dry as a powder finish. And then it will stay, okay? You'll be good to go for the day. I love these as shadows too. And I even think today we are going to try the this as an eyeliner, as a top eyeliner. Because I want, there's a bl black one they just came out with um, in a cream shadow, matte black. And I want to get it uh, to do eyeliner with. So I should experiment with the brown one first and see if it's going to be something I like. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't, there isn't one thing I've found that I don't like. Not one thing. All right, so we got that brow on. Probably not my best job. See how that just, I really love an eyebrow. It really frames your face. It just filled in the sparseness that I have going on and it just really, really frames your face. So if you've never filled in your eyebrows or drawn on your eyebrows, I really suggest reaching outside the box, trying something new because it really makes your whole look just different. You know, it just really bumps that up and pops. Makes it just pop. And keep in mind also, your eyebrows are sisters. Um, they're not twins, so they do not have to match exactly, and I would be hard-pressed to think that you could get them to match exactly. So don't spend too much time worrying about that. Just get them as close as possible, and then you just want to move on with the day, you know? Just move on. Just get to going. Okay, so I think that's going to be about as good as we can get. Now, um, also a little pointer on eyebrows is that, see, I, I tweezed my brows and see they're really uneven, but anyway, is you want the middles right here to be um, an ombre, like you want them to be lighter in the middle right here where they reach, where they come to connect your nose. And so you just want to, if it gets too dark, just take the spoolie end and just like, um, buff that out until it lightens it up a little, okay? I just have a little blank area that I want to try to fill in. All right. So there we have our brows are done. Probably need to throw my tweezers away. Mm-hmm. I really screwed them up. Uh, once again, let me just say, please excuse the barking. I can't apologize for her because she's a member of this family and she's a dog, so she doesn't know any better. But please excuse the barking. I'm going to pop on a little bit of eye primer because just like face primer, eye primer is super important. It's going to help prevent creasing and it's going to help um, really the staying power of your eye makeup, okay? So we're just going to pop a little bit of that on and I'm going to try some blues today and some gold because that's what I'm wearing today is um, blues and golds for my UC Riverside boy. So we're just going to pop on a little bit of blue and gold and see how that all pans out. Don't know. Like I said, half the time I'm just every day flying by the seat of my pants. Very few times do I put much thought into the look. I kind of want to be as surprised as you guys, and I am, believe me. Pleasantly surprised, though. Pleasantly surprised. These products are super easy to work with. Um, they really do the job for you, um, so it's not really difficult. And so um, I have been pleasantly surprised with my outcomes, absolutely. So I'm going to use a little bit of our cream shadow in the color extravagant this is one of our shimmers it's really a beautiful gold with shimmer in it so we're gonna pop on some of that today to die I'm gonna clean out this lid because it's kind of yucky kind of okay 
Oh, wow, Carissa. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a mighty mess that made. All right, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on my brush. And we're going to take it over to the lid. Press that into. Now, there's very few tools that I would say really go hand in hand with any of our products, but this cream shadow brush does go hand in hand. So I would, if you're going to go and get any of the cream shadows, I'd pop at least one of these into your basket. I know some some of us have one for darks and one for lights, but at least one of these because it really makes a huge difference on the um, on the application of the product. So you want to get this right up close to your lash line, okay? And I'm only gonna try to keep it to this half of my eyeball. I want to put something at the back end here, so I'm just going to try to just work that into just the half, the inner half of my eye, like so. And then we'll do the other side. So keep it really, really close to your lash line. So these go on as a cream, hence cream shadow, and they dry as a powder. So you can mix these with any of our other finishes, um, our pigments, our uh, pressed mineral shadows, other cream shadows, and it, they are very blendable. Um, and so you can really like mix and match and just create some really wonderful looks, okay? I think we're getting there, I think so. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit to the corner there, but I'm gonna do that after. All right, so let's see how I just have it just on the inner corner, um, the inner half of my eye. And then we're gonna pick up our palette four and we are going to work with some of these really pretty blues. And probably I'll pick up some of the browns too, possibly some more of this gold, just to enhance that other gold. So we're gonna start with a couple of these. So, um, let's see what we can come up with. I'm just cleaning out my brush because we know that whatever was in there yesterday is still there probably. All right, so I'm gonna start just um, with a tiny bit. You don't need a lot, like I said, just a tap, okay? And then you just wanna tap that product on, okay? You don't wanna go too crazy because you'll end up with um, way too much product on your brush. They're super pigmented, okay? So we're just tapping this into the outer corner and our crease, okay? And with my crease, I need to go just a tiny bit past the crease. So if this is my crease right here, I want to go a little bit up on my brow bone because I have a hooded eye. So I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping that product in there. Another little tap. actually think that I haven't been really straying far enough outside my crease because I, I get super frustrated when I'm doing my after pictures for you guys I get super frustrated because I can't see that color and I work so hard to put it there you know and I want to be able to see it afterwards so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go a little bit further like that. See how when my eyes open you can still see that. Don't worry about any of the harsh lines. We're going to buff those out after. So don't don't worry too much about those, okay? So another just tap and then we're going to come over here and we're going to just work on this half, this outer corner and in our crease. 
And this is the color Cheerful in palette four. I think these are perfect, perfect to match with what my shirt colors are today. So we have the golds and the blues. And he's taken his last midterm today, so I wanted to be super supportive of that. So you can work in a windshield wiper motion, okay, back and forth. If you're just staying in your crease, of course, your brush would be in your crease working back and forth with the windshield wiper motion. But thanks to my eyes, I've got to... Got to go a little bit above that. Okay, so this is turning out not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, Abby. I think we might even try to turn this into a smoky eye. I've been working on smoky eyes. I don't do a lot of them. But I think we might just work on a smoky eye today and see what, what we come up with there. All right, so here's cheerful and we have extravagant in our corners. And like I said, don't worry too much about blending right now. We're gonna do all of that at the end, okay? I'm going to get a smaller brush and I had black in it, so I'm going to really brush this off because I don't really want black in it. Although the color I'm picking up right now is pretty dark. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit of this Triumphant right here. So just a little dab. And we're just going to go right on the outer corner here. And create like a horseshoe kind of kind of like a little horseshoe in the corner there. Just give that corner a little bit more oomph, a little bit more pizzazz. This is where that smoky eye look is gonna come into play if it comes out right. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time right now. But we'll just put some body language into that sucker. Body language never hurt anybody. All right, and so we'll work on on uh, buffing all these fine line, these fine lines, these harsh lines out later be before we're done. Okay, have no fear, no fear here. All the harsh lines will be gone. My thing is matching them. <laughs> who, who has trouble matching? I have a lot of trouble getting them to match. So I suppose if only one per somebody's only looking at one side of my face at a time, doesn't really matter, right? So here we just darkened up that corner just a little bit with some of that really beautiful triumphant. So we're just playing off a little bit of the different colors in this palette, okay? Super pretty, super pretty. All right, and now grab a blending brush, my loves, and blend away, okay? So you just get a soft, fluffy brush, windshield wiper motion, and just a blend and a blend and a blend. So all the harsh lines will disappear into thin air. See? Gorgeous, right? Like, see the difference, how we have the harsh lines here, and then we've blended them all out over here? So no fretting, no worrying. Just grab a blending brush, soft, fluffy brush, and just blend. I think that we're working this out. It is coming together. So I just want to blend out a little bit of that cream that has 
dried into a powder now. We're going to just blend a little bit of that in with our look. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Looking good, looking good. Pretty happy. Gots to tell you, pretty happy. Gonna be honest. All right, so now, my peeps, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of this really pretty honest right here, this little baby blue color. We're gonna pop a little bit of that up onto our brow bone, okay? So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that and we're gonna go right under our brow bone with that, okay? And this is gonna help highlight that brow bone, okay? Real pretty. I might even throw in a little bit of tender with that. We'll see. We're going play by play right now. We're not rushing it. We're just building a look. And I'm pretty sure when we get done, it'll look okay. And if not, what do I always tell you? Grab a makeup wipe, okay? It's not the end of the world. It's just makeup. It's just makeup. And I want to lighten that up just a little bit with some of this tender. So I'm going to pop some right there. And right there, and down here, and down here, and down there, and everywhere. All right. My lovelies, look at what we came out with. I love it. All right. So that was our Addiction Palette 4. And I think we nailed it. Look at my shirt. I got my gold and my blues, and I got my gold and my blues. I think that came out gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm almost thinking I'm going to not use my splurge as an eyeliner today, and I'm going to use... I'm going to use... Um, mm -hmm. Yep, maybe not. I was gonna use my palette four. I gotta find a brush here. Let me just clean this off and I'll use this. I um, am going to make an eyeliner out of this triumphant right here, this dark color triumphant. We're gonna do an eyeliner here with this. Now you can wet this or use it dry, totally your preference. If you wet your brush, you can make a really vivid, um, bright eyeliner, but I'm just going to do the powder for now, just for time's sake. And this makes a great, great eyeliner. So you just grab your chiseled brush and you go just along your lash line, okay? Just stay right on your lash line. Makes a very, very beautiful eyeliner. See? You can tell the difference between this eye and this eye, how I just darkened it right up along the lash line. And we'll do the same thing over here. I wear my contacts so that I can kind of see what I'm doing <laughs> when I'm doing this with all of you because I'm a glasses wearer. So I pop in my contacts thinking like, okay, so I'm going to be able to see. And I don't really think I can see any better than if I didn't have them in. Half the time they're all fog, foggy and stuck to my eyes. It's great stuff. I would love to have the eye surgery, but I just don't know. Just don't know. I'm gonna pop a little bit of this under my under eye also. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the cheerful and a just cheerful, cheerful? Okay, can I talk? 
a little bit of cheerful and a tap of the triumphant and we're just going to come under our eye right here and make an eye liner right along our lash line and I'm only going to go about halfway with that color so cheerful triumphant and a top of triumphant to achieve this particular look okay and I'm just staying right along the lash line and I'm um, stopping about midway past okay So there we have that all tied together and I'm just going to take a soft brush and just soften those lines up, stab myself in the eyeball, that will help me see even better. If I haven't seen better yet, that's going to definitely help. <laughs> Alright, so we have our eyeliner, we're rocking now, we're just rocking our way now. All right. Now, 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 now. Guess what time it is, people. Guess what time it is. My favorite time in the world. This is our 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. This is my falsies in a bottle. This is what I call it because it's going to literally transform my eyelashes. So you see, there's very little there. There's nothing to hide, okay? Watch watch the transformation okay so it's a two-step process you have your gel and your fibers okay and it well it's a three-step process so the first thing you want to do is you want to coat your lashes with a really good coat of the transplant gel okay and that's basically just mascara okay fancy name for mascara now you want to really Use that wand to your advantage. Get all your lashes coated, separated, and where you want them, okay? And yes, I know lashes can be super stubborn little critters. They want to cling to their best friends, especially when you start putting stuff on them. But we try to say, no, no, don't do that. Okay, so we got our coat of our transplant gel and then we're going to go in with our fibers these fluffy little fibers okay I like to roll it on the back of my hand just to stop any real fallout and then you just want to wiggle them right onto the tips of those damp lashes okay and just stay at the tips you don't need to go all the way down to your the base of your lash okay not necessary at all and you don't want It'll, you know, you there. It's ophthalmologist tested, okay? It's ophthalmologist approved. Um, excuse me, ophthalmologist approved. But who wants to get fiber in their eye? Like nobody, right? Not me. Not me. And so I'm just going along and sharing the love, and I know you can see that growing. Look at that lash. Look at that. That right there is front and center testimony that this is an amazing product, okay? I just literally grew my lashes right in front of you, okay? Right in front of you. So then, very, very important step to this whole process, and that is sealing those fibers in, okay? You don't want to not seal them in, so you wanna go back with one final coat of the gel, okay? and you want to seal these fibers in. So I so challenge everybody to try this mascara, okay? If you so inclined, you can pop by my little store at beautywithcarissa.com and you can snatch yourself up a bottle and 
We have a love it guarantee, so you really can't go wrong, okay? Honestly, you can't. Okay, look at that. Is that not just gorgeous or what? Okay. Falsies in a bottle. Yeah, there you have it. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my bottom lash while we're right here. The faces we make while we're putting on our mascara. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, let me just make a mess here. It seems like that's the theme of today is let's make a mess, right? All right. Pop over to number two and share the love over here. So you just want to coat those lashes, get them nice and separated with your transplant gel. So let me introduce myself for those of you who don't know me while I'm doing this real tedious work here. My name is Carissa Doss. I am a white status presenter with Unique Cosmetics. You can find all these wonderful products at beautywithcarissa.com. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen today, please feel free to pop me a comment below or instant message me on Facebook. I'm going to try to also integrate my videos over to YouTube too. So we'll see if that works eventually. All right, then we wanna go in with our fibers, okay? So we just wanna pop those on, just on the tips of our lashes. Okay, sorry, it's really tedious. Gotta concentrate. And you have literally, if you get a fiber that falls, don't worry about it. Brush right off. It will brush right off. All right, so we're just getting everybody happy over here with some fibers. All right. Look at that, gone. All right, so check that out. And that's, we haven't even like sealed this side in yet and we're gonna do that right now. So last step, you wanna go back in with your transplant gel and seal that right up, okay? Super, super important step. a real light hand you just want to touch every single one of those to seal those fibers in okay if you do or if you're getting fallout throughout the day it's because you did not seal them in well enough okay but I'm gonna teach you a little trick to kind of cut down on that oh, I did not did not put any on my bottom lashes what the heck what the what? Oh, I'm losing it. All right, so let's make another oddly f weird face. I do not put, um, I do not put fibers on my bottom lashes. However, there's no rule against it. Totally can if you want to. It's a personal preference um, whether you want to or not. So there we have it. This is our 3D Fiber Mascara. Check out those lashes. Look, look at those lashes. Look, do you see them? 
beautywithcarissa.com. You can pick up yourself a set of 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. Challenge you to try it. It is thebomb.com, okay? This is what put Unique on the map right here. This product. Hello, this product right here. All right, so um, I was talking um, on another video about my handy dandy little eyelash and brow comb, okay? So if you do, like right now, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, my lashes, I guess. You know, I'm not real unhappy with like clumping or them trying to buddy up with their best friend. But I suppose if you did, you when you when you use your comb, you don't want to use it like this, horizontal. You want to use your comb vertical and pull through the lashes to separate them, okay? You don't want to do it horizontal because that's just going to push them closer to their buddies and they're just going to want to be friends even more so. The other thing that um, that I do is with the brush side, if I just go through and just brush some brush through my lashes real quick, any fibers that I didn't seal in will automatically disengage and then you won't have to worry about any um, potential fallout throughout your day because anything you didn't seal in with that last coat of gel isn't staying on there because you just brushed it off, okay? And then I just like to take a nice fluffy brush and anything that got on my face during the process of application is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Look at that. So kiddos, we're wrapping it up. Oh, I did get it on my skin. No, I didn't. Okay. Psych. Did not. Thought I did. I very often jab myself in the eye, like somewhere on the eye with the, um, with the gel. If that happens, don't fret. Try not to wipe it right away. Let it dry and it flakes right off your skin. So I know it's not in us creatures to let it dry, but let it dry and you can get it right off, okay? All right. So moving right along here, because we're almost done, kiddos. We're almost wrapping it up here. I'm going to go back in to my um, mineral concealer and I'm going to pick up a little bit on my brush, swirl it in my lid, and I'm just going to go back over and touch on anywhere I put the concealer at the beginning of this process, okay? So under my eyes in a check mark fashion, this is just going to brighten up all those areas because I like to be wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, seems how I don't feel that way. All right, so our forehead right here, down our nose, and we'll just dab a little bit of that on our chin. Okay, just a little dab will do ya. Brighten up all those areas right there. So, we're getting there. We're getting there, kiddos. We're almost done. And then I like to do a little bit of highlighting because I certainly don't mind a little bit of glow. So, I'm going to go back into my palette four. Yes, these are eyeshadows. And yes, I'm going to use them for highlighting. So, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this tender. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit on my brush, and we're going to hit the tops of our cheekbones right here on this side, okay? With a little bit of shimmery shimmer shim. Okay. I like a little shimmer. It's all a personal preference, how much you want to use. And then I'm just going to shoot down my nose with it, get the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose. And you know, you know what I forgot, you're about to say it right now. And your Cupid's bow right here, see how pretty that is when you highlight that? Beautiful. And a little bit here. Okay, so yes, I did not highlight my nose. Uh, not highlight. I did not. What is it called? 
Yes, bronze. Yes, bronze. Thank you. Thank you for that reminder. I did not bronze my nose. So we're going to go back in with my handy dandy little chisel brush. And we're going to pick up some bronzer. And we're going to just chisel out the sides of that those nat nose right there. That will help that bright area down the center that I worked so hard to brighten. It would help. It'll help that be brighter. Okay, 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 people. All right, I'm just going to take a brush and we're just going to blend that out a little bit. There we go. See how that just kind of really slenderized my nose right there? Super important. I don't know how I forgot that. Don't know how. It's because I got squished for brains. Squishy, squishy for brains. All right, now we are going to try our sultry lip. Mm, as I pick my lip. Didn't I just tell you at the beginning of this? Lip pickers. <laughs> okay. We don't want any skin on there. So hopefully this doesn't look funny with my little pucker that I pick right here. I pick the center on my lip all the time. So this is our lip stain, our upper lip stain in the color Sultry. Hopefully it goes good with the look. Because lip stains like stain, okay? It stains. <laughs> it's called lip stain. I love this color. Can't talk while we're doing this. I just got it all on my teeth. That's great. I've only been putting on lip products for most of my life. Isn't that gorgeous color, you guys? So pretty. So pretty. And you can do a couple different coats if you want just to get it uh, to your likingness. Okay. Your likingness. That was great English, Carissa. Your likeness, I guess, is the right, proper word I should have said. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is our upper lip stain, stiff upper lip stain, and sultry. Okay. Real pretty. Really nice, bold lip to be bold with our UC Riverside shirt on today. All right. So there you have it. Our full face is done. I'm pretty sure there's probably something I forgot because there always is. But that's just what you get. Oh, tight line. Oh, I can tight line off camera. But anyway, I like to tight line. I like to go up underneath on the top waterline with my black perfect eyeliner and just close all that nicely in. I don't like any pink showing because I think that, I don't know, it just bugs me. Call me weird. Call me weird. So I just like to go in there and close all that up. Close it all up. And I don't have anything on my bottom line and I'm gonna leave it like that today. Just El Naturel. So there you have it. I've enjoyed spending some time with you today. Again, most of the stuff, products that I used today were from my line. Um, at beautywithcarissa.com and so if you saw anything that you liked you can pop on by my shop and um, check it out and thank you guys remember you are strong you are beautiful and you are enough okay always love you guys and we'll see you later bye bye